So of course, of course, Sports Illustrated was there. A junior staff photographer named Neil Leifer pulled the gig. Armed with his Rolleiflex Twin Lens Reflex medium format camera, loaded with 120 millimeter Kodak Ektachrome reversal, which means slide, film, he showed up at the St. Dominic's Arena on time and ready to work. Then along came his boss, senior staff photographer Herb Scharfman, who promptly shooed Leifer out of his sweet spot, leaving him to find a place in the crowd on the opposite side of the ring. Then, at just over a minute and a half into the first round, this happened. Did you see the punch? Did you see it? Did you see the punch? Did AP see photographer John Rooney was also there, and he just happened to be standing to the left of Neil Leifer. This is his photo, the one that was in all of the next day's papers. This gives us not one, but two images of the same moment, only a few degrees apart. It's a rather unique situation in the history of iconic photos. But in time, it was Lifer's take that has ascended to be the iconic image of record. And there are a few reasons for this. The most obvious difference between the two is that, well, one is in black and white and the other is in color. Uh, which is, in fact, the reason that Rooney's photo was in all of the next day's papers. See, at that time, and in fact until the advent of digital photography, film processing was a factor in the timely delivery of news photos. Basic black and white film processing is relatively simple and cheap. It can be done on the fly. That ectochrome slide film, however, that Leifer shot, requires a much more complex process involving very specialized equipment and time. Coupled with that, Rooney was shooting the very common 35 millimeter film format, which is relatively small and uh, it's rectangular, whereas Leifer's 120 millimeter film is a square format and considerably larger than the 35 millimeter, and this is important to know. The physical size of the film media is analogous to digital memory capacity. The larger the negative or slide, the higher the resolution of the resulting image. 
This is exactly the same way high capacity sensors work. The higher the capacity, the higher the resolution of that resulting image. Also, compositionally, Lifer's square format lends itself well to the contained triangular configuration of the figures within. It's good to note that the triangle has many cultural, spiritual, philosophical, and psychological attributes. A triangle inside a square comes preloaded with many meanings, and it is a conceit that can be found in many religious icons, world-class paintings, and of course other iconic photographs. While Rooney's image gives us more of the whole scene, Lifer takes us right to where the action is, as it were, two contestants engaging in that most primal of sport, the sweet science of boxing. Victor and Vanquish, the thrill of victory, the agony of defeat, and all that indeed. Neil Lifer would go on to shoot over 200 covers for Sports Illustrated, Time, People, and many other magazines. In 2006, he received the coveted Lucy Award for achievement in sports photography and in 2008, the Britain Haddon Lifetime Achievement Award. Ali vs. Liston, 1965, was voted Best Sports Photo of the Century by Sports Illustrated and is regularly featured on many greatest photos of all time lists. And Herb Scharfman, that's him right there. Catch me if you can. 